I'm Linda Kemp, and I'd like to show you an alternative approach to painting. Whether you're an accomplished artist or just starting out, I'm sure you'll find negative painting intriguing. It's a fun way to create beautiful watercolors. I began this row of trees a little ways up on the painting rather than starting at the bottom because I want to show the trees going off into the distance. Okay, there's my first layer. Now I'd like to show you how I'll progress up the page working into the back to develop the layers of trees as we move into the forest. To suggest distance or a deep interior, the layers progress upward in tiers from the bottom to the top. Consider that the picture plane is a shallow stage. Each layer is a flat screen laying one behind the other. You can see that the layers of the trees move further into the distance and they rise up and back, much like climbing a set of stairs. So the next layer will begin by stepping up the page so it appears to be back in the distance. I'll use the same colors again and start my next layer of trees. This is going to be a little darker as we move into the distance and I'll paint out, carving out the next tree. You want to make sure you include a lot of different widths of your trees and you also want to focus on having different spacing. At this point these are all the same. So I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm working. This limb goes behind this tree and it'll pull up here. Just use a little bit of this blue just to catch a bit of color along the rim. So I'll just scratch it onto the surface. Working in watercolor and pastel this way, you can carry on for a long time building your edges and your shapes and cutting in descriptive forms. But I think that you probably have the idea of what I'm after here. Thinking and seeing in an altogether different way takes both patience and persistence. After all, you've been viewing the world around you in your own particular way all of your life. All of the images in this video have been created in the negative. However, feel free to combine these ideas with your own particular way of painting to make your own personal style. I do hope that you've enjoyed watching and that you'll feel inspired to try painting outside the lines. Remember, think positive and paint negative.